Hello, I'm Elizabeth Dezuch, the Information Literacy Librarian at Killam Library at TAMU. This brief tutorial will help you narrow your research topic and create a research question. Here are the learning outcomes or goals for this tutorial. You will be able to learn to ask questions about a topic to identify subdivisions of that topic. You will be able to seek background information on a topic to identify subdivisions of that topic, and you'll be able to formulate a research question from a narrowed topic. Part 1 Research often begins when we are given a general topic and asked to design an inquiry relating to that topic. General topics are too large to investigate in any reasonable time frame, so we narrow the scope of our investigation from a general topic like bullying in schools, to a research question. We do that by asking specific questions and writing down ideas. Imagine that we are doing research about bullying in schools. Let's begin by answering some of the following questions. Question 1. What dates do you want to consider? Do you want to investigate a range of dates? Do you want to compare bullying in schools from one date with bullying in schools at another date? Question 2. Whose life do you want to consider? What age do you want to consider? For example, only boys, only girls, early education, middle school, or everyone. Question 3. Do you want to consider the interactions between groups? For example, boys and girls, student athletes and non-student athletes, or parents and children. Question 4. How do you define bullying? Do you want to look at all types or only certain ones, like cyberbullying, verbal bullying, or gay and trans bullying? Question 5. The final question has to do with the research assignment or paper that you're writing. How long is your paper supposed to be? For example, 10 pages or 2 pages? What kinds of sources are you required to use? For example, primary or secondary or scholarly? Is there any type of source you may not use? These questions will inform the quantity and quality of sources you will need to find. Now, answer the five questions we just talked about, but with your own research topic instead. The link to this worksheet will also be posted in the video details below. Part 2. Background Research Narrowing your research topic requires some background research because more than likely you have chosen a topic of some interest to you but which you are not an expert in yet. Reading articles and other sources can help you answer questions like what are the big ideas people are talking about in regards to your topic? What is the historical and social context? Who are the key players? Once these questions are answered, you can focus your topic and build the vocabulary needed to find and understand the research you need for your assignment. Encyclopedias are reference works that give a summary of knowledge and are divided into articles or entries and give information about subjects or topics. When looking for ideas about how to outline or map a topic, it is often useful to go to an encyclopedia article and see how the article is subdivided and what topics are covered in the article. Wikipedia is a great place to find background information on a topic. In addition to learning more about your topic, you can familiarize yourself with keywords and subject headings, which you can later use as search terms in a library catalog or database search. So what do you need to look for inside an encyclopedia article? Look for the content section and notice the headings and subheadings. Check the end of the article for any citations to other books or articles. Also, ask yourself, what might be missing or incomplete? Are there other aspects of your topic that don't seem to be covered in the encyclopedia article? Are there links between items in the outline that bear further investigation? There are many encyclopedia resources besides Wikipedia. Did you know that Killam Library has over 157,000? In the reference section on the first floor of the library, you can find many general and subject-specific encyclopedias. 
we also have many encyclopedias online as ebooks. How to find encyclopedias. You can find them by doing a search in our library catalog. This is the search box that you will see in the middle of the library homepage at www.tamu.edu slash library. Try searching for Education Encyclopedia and see what comes up. Now it's your turn to look up your broad research topic in an encyclopedia. Utilize an online one like Wikipedia or an encyclopedia that you found in the library catalog. Part 3. Creating a Research Question After thinking about and deciding what you're interested in researching, try putting a research question into words. Select two topics or subtopics and write a possible research question that links the two ideas. Utilize the worksheet from Part 1 to identify keywords for your research topic. For example, my keywords are highlighted in red below. For my example, I am interested in cyberbullying and the subtopics, girls, social media, and middle school. My research question may ask, how does social media use by girls in middle school contribute to cyberbullying? Notice that this question cannot be answered with a yes or no. Now, you can create a research question from your own keywords. Thank you for watching this online library tutorial. Find more library tutorials on our YouTube channel or contact the Killam Library Reference Desk with any questions or comments.